This is um, Diane, and Diane's come in today to get a little bit of a lip enhancement. She feels she needs a little bit more volume in the upper lip to balance it out with the lower lip. Technically, the upper lip should be about 40% and the bottom lip should be about 60%, so that's a typical classic ratio. We're going to use the lip cannula technique today where we use a blunt needle, which minimizes the possibility of bruising, uh, swelling, and excessive trauma. We'll firstly put on a little bit of um, topical anesthetic uh, to make it a little bit more comfortable. Okay, just gonna clean the area with some antiseptic. Okay, so we're gonna start the procedure. Um, firstly, I'm gonna use a little bit of local anesthetic where I'm gonna make the entry point for the cannula. So we'll do that now, that can sting a little bit. Small entry point, now it should be done. Okay, so now we're going to insert the cannula, which is the blunt needle. Uh, it looks like a needle, but the tip is actually blunt, and there's a little hole on the side that lets the, um, the product or the filler out. Okay, you can see the tip of the cannula here. mold it a little bit to shape it. There's probably about 10% of swelling there, so that will settle over the next three to five days, and then it will look quite natural and become part of her lip. The symmetry is good, but if we need to improve it even more, we can get the patient to come back in about two weeks and make some slight adjustments. Uh, the most important thing with lips is to keep the symmetry um, as perfect as possible.